in this video um, I'm going to show you how to use uh, ITO1 and ITO2 and then after this video you know the difference between ITO1 and ITO2 ITO1 comes with its old accessories which is two, two of the MS192EX two of M as 195EXT and 2 of MS 309 EXT and 6 of this uh, extension uh, wire which is the part number is MS 321 EST uh, all these accessories uh, covers more all inverter that were used on the LC screen up to screen size 22 inches this ITO2 also come with the five most popular uh, inverter wire harness which is one of the, the MS201 uh, CN and 202 CN and 205 CN and MS335 CN and MS333 CN let me show you how to use I, ITO1 to isolate problems between a uh, backlight lamp or inverter this is sample shown by uh, using a yellow touch 15 inch screen the symptom is that the screen comes on comes on for a fraction of a second and goes off immediately this is the most common problem we see on those displays some of them that you may not be able to see the display at all and when you turn on the screen uh, monitors uh, touch screens but the power in the K light stays on so let's me show you how to use it flip over you took out the back cover of course uh, this is the inverters okay so we identify the inverter you're gonna just pull out the backlight lamp and then here's here's ITO1 we're gonna connect ITO1 and using the adapter that enclosed so we're gonna put this at wire adapters and then connect to one of the lamps all right okay we also have to use the extension cable and wire adapter because it will go to this side <coughs> all right so we're gonna connect another one it doesn't matter which one is it as long as you connect the two inverter because this is two inverter two, two backlight inverters okay connect to this one all right you connect this one now the symptom for this yellow touch screen would be screen comes on for a fraction of a second and goes off. So again, we don't know what either the backlight lamp or inverter causing problems. We do not know. So we're using as ITO1 as a brand new lamp connect to the inverters. If inverters working fine, the light should come on on the ITO1. If when yellow touch monitors on, the light doesn't even come on, the problem is caused by inverters. So let's see. We gotta connect power here, VGA cable here, and connect the power and turn it on. <coughs> see that? The light comes on, stays on. That tells us the old backlight lamp is bad. The lamp on the Elo Touch is bad. So all you need to do is just replace this two backlight lamp and it's back to normal. So please remember that when you test the inverters, um, you have to connect all lamps to the inverter. For example, this one have two lamps, so you can connect any two lamps to it. Um, if you ITO one can test the inverter up to six lamps, which is cover the size up to 22 inches screen inverters. For example, let me show you this one. This one, it has a six lamp. Okay. This is six lamp inverter. So in order to test this inverter, you must connect all the six lamps to the inverters. Okay, so let me show you. You connect this one. You connect this extension cables. One more here. Um, okay. okay, you connect one end here. The other. And this one too. And you connect the west here. <coughs> Do like this. It's much easier. Okay. Now, 
all six lamps connect to it, you apply the voltage, you turn on the display, all the six lamps should light up good if the backlight lamp on that screen is good. So if you forgot to connect one, one lamp or two lamp, even though two, even though the inverse is working fine, it will shut off like what you see the symptom on the yellow touch screen. It comes on for a section, fraction of a second and goes off. So when you test the multi uh, uh, lamp inverter, make sure you connect all lamps on ITO1 to the inverters. Before you can connect inverter to the ITO2, first identify the inverter's part numbers. Most of the inverter you see would have a backup label printer outside. Some of them, this is our own inverter printed on the PCB and this is one of the Toshiba's one. They print on PCB either on the top or bottom, but this one's on the top, but this one the label. Also on the bottom, you also find it on number two. So first, identify the correct inverter part number. Then go to our website to obtain the pin All assignment. Inverter pin assignment is available on the website. So let's go to our website. The inverter we try to use ITO to test is a Sony substitute inverter. The part number is 1 470 one, I'm sorry, 1 478-805-31 MSS. So all these pin assignments are available here. See that inverter by number, you click that and go by alphabet and there's total more than 22 inch 22 pages. So just go by the numbers. The one we try to look for is 1-470-805-31 MSS. Here we go. This is the one, right? And then you click the details. Here we go. This is the pin assignments right here. It's right there. Pin 1, pin 2 is B+. Pin 4 is dimming control. Pin 3 is enable, pin 5, pin 6 squang. The, the connector we need to use to test is MS202CN, which is one of the con, uh, connectors uh, that now, come with the ITO2. Let's ITO2. apply the settings to a uh, ITO2. Uh, we just obtained this information through uh, our website, lcdparts.net. So according to a, uh, a um, the web information, the pin assignment information, so Pin one is pin one, pin two is a V I V I V B plus, and pin five, pin six is a Guang, and then pin three is enable, and pin four is adjustment. So first of all, you this is the inverter, right? You connect the wire holes to this inverters. Okay. How we count the pin always this side from top, top to the bottom is always the pin one, top. Bottom. So this pin one, pin two, it's a uh, connect to a B plus. Okay. This pin three, pin four, pin five, pin five, pin six, connect to Guang. There we go. Okay. Pin three, of course. It's going to be enable pin four is adjust. Now it's connected. So all we do is apply the voltage and connect it to good backlight lamps to test it. To test it, I would use, you can either use, if you have ITO1, that would be great. Uh, you can connect to ITO1, and then now you connect to a uh, 12 volts. Okay. Then you turn it on. Enable. It lights up. So again, you know, you see that? It lights up. Which means that the inverter is good. And let's say if you don't have ITO1, you have a screen that you know has a good backlight lamp, like you know, this any laptop screens, that you have a good backlight lamp, you can still connect to it. And here,
turn it on, enable. Now you see the light comes on. Not really clear, but you can see the difference. See, the light comes on. Okay, now you know the East inverter is good. Now you know the difference between the ITO1 and ITO2. ITO1 actually is pretty easy to use it. Um, it requires a, a no setup time. And you basically just connect to uh, whatever the, the display that have a uh, inverter up to six lamps. And just using it as a, as a new lamp low to isolate problems between the inverter or the backlight lamp. ITO2 is a little bit tricky to use it because first of all you have to go to online to obtain all these pin assignments. And then you also you need to identify the correct connectors. Then you apply the setting to this and uh, to test the inverter. However, this is standalone tester, so all you need just apply a uh, voltage. Uh, you can also apply 24 volt if you test the L L L LCD TV uh, inverters too. So, uh, ITO2 is quite useful if, if you have a large inverter and uh, you don't know what the status is working or not, then you might want to use ITO2 to test one at a time.